Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Living Library, where we come to learn from God's living and active Word. In just a little bit, you are going to learn an amazing and true Bible story. But before we get to that, I was wondering, do you want to play a game with me? You do? Great! I am thinking of a story that's just pretend, that's make-believe. If I give you three clues, do you think you can guess what make-believe story I'm thinking of? Let's find out. Clue number one. This story has a cushion in it. Hmm. This story has a spider in it. And this story has curds and whey in it. <laughs> Do you know what make-believe story I'm thinking of? Little Miss Muffet. That's right! It's Little Miss Muffet. Great guessing, friends. Now that you've guessed my make-believe story, let's get ready to hear one that is true. Turn on those listening ears and get out your quiet library voices. Shh. Let's hear our Bible story for today. Hello everyone and welcome to The Living Library. My name is Ethan and I'm so excited you're here to learn more from God's Word with us. Me too, friends. My name is Miss Kristen and I have an awesome and true story to share with you. Friends, do you know what holiday we celebrate at the end of December? Christmas! <laughs> that is right. We have Christmas coming up and our story for today is actually a part of the Christmas story. Let's wake up BookBot and see what our word of the day is so we can start learning the Christmas story. Can you all say, what's the word, BookBot? What's the word, BookBot? Hello, friends. It sounds like you are ready to learn. Your word today is prophet. A prophet is someone who gets messages from God to give to others. Today, you'll need the book of Isaiah and the book of Luke to learn more about prophets. Goodbye. Thank you so much, BookBot. Hmm, prophet and two different books, Isaiah and Luke, are both part of God's Word. That's right. And friends, where do we find God's Word? The Bible. <laughs> That's right. Friends, which book is the very best? The, the Bible. Bible. The, the Bible. Bible. I said, which, which book is, is the very best? best? The, the Bible. Bible. The Bible. You've got it. The Bible, God's true word, is the very best book. Let's jump in. Much better. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find the book of Isaiah. Now remember, the Bible is God's big book made up of lots of smaller books that tell one big story. Isaiah is part of the Old Testament. That means before Jesus was born. In fact, the book of Isaiah was written many, many years before Jesus was born. Isaiah was known to the people as a prophet. Does anyone remember what a prophet is? A person that delivers messages for God. <laughs> Hello there, Stanley. That is exactly right. Now, God would talk to Isaiah, usually through his dreams, and Isaiah would give messages to God's people. God gave Isaiah lots of different messages for his people. Some of my favorite messages were about a rescuer, a savior, God's own son, who would save the people from sin. Friends, do you know who I'm talking about? Jesus! <laughs> That's right, it's Jesus. Hang on a second, Kristen. I thought we were going to learn about Christmas today. Did God talk to Isaiah about Christmas too? You know what, Ethan? He actually did. Isaiah tells us in God's word about a man named Jesse from a long, long time ago. The Bible tells us that Jesus would come from the family of Jesse. That means Jesse would have children, and those children would have children, and those children would have children, and eventually, many years later, Jesus was going to be a part of that family. God told Isaiah this very thing so that all of the people would know that Jesus really is the Son of God. But then, how do we know for sure that Jesus came from the family of Jesse? That's a really good question, Stanley. Um, and that's why BookBot told us that we also need to look in another book of the Bible. Uh, friends, do you remember where else we're supposed to look in the Bible today? Look. That's right. So the book of Isaiah was part of the Old Testament written before Jesus was born. And Luke is part of the New Testament that tells us about Jesus' life and about what happened after he died. 
So in the book of Luke, chapter 3, the Bible tells us about the family that Jesus came from. Um, here, let's take a look at it. So, if we start with Jesse, we know that he had a son named David. You all have heard of him before. David had a son and many sons came after him. Then, years later, there was a man named Joshua. Joshua had many sons and many came after him. Then, there was a man named Amos. He had many sons and many came after him. Years later, there was a man named Mathat who had many sons. One of them was named Joseph, who was the father of Jesus. Wow, look at that. You can go all the way back and see how Jesus really did come from the family of Jesse, just like God told Isaiah. That's exactly right, Stanley. God is in control. Long before Jesus was born, God told the prophet Isaiah that Jesus would be part of Jesse's family. Then the book of Luke showed us that it happened just like God said. God is in control. Wow, what a great story. That's so amazing. It sure is. Now, Stanley, before you go away, can you tell us what you learned today? You bet. I learned that Jesus came from the family of Jesse, just like God said he would. That's great, Stanley. Thank you so much for sharing. We will see you next time. Bye. Now, what about you, Ethan? Before we try our verse and pray, can you tell me what you learned today? Wow, isn't it crazy how God can tell us all about Jesus even before he was born? I don't even know what's gonna happen tomorrow and he could tell us all about what's gonna happen 100 years from now. It just shows how God is in control. And that's like what our memory verse says. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said. Matthew 1, 22. All right, friends, let's do our special poem and pray. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much that you are in control. We thank you for stories like today's that show us that Jesus really is who he says he is. Your son, our savior, the rescuer. Help all of my friends to know this and trust this for their whole hearts, for their whole lives. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay, friends, now it's time to get on your feet and dance with us.
Hello again, friends. Let's take a minute to remember what we learned. Today, we learned about the family that Jesus is a part of. Jesus comes from the line of Jesse. He's even related to King David, the one who fought Goliath. Friends, God told us long before Jesus was born exactly what family he would be a part of. Isn't it amazing that God is in control? We will learn more about this as we continue to learn the Christmas story. Bye, friends. Hi, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, let us know by telling your parents to hit the thumbs up. And to never miss an upload, click the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you never miss another video of ours. Well, well bye, see friends. You guys.